Awesome, folks. Um, thank you, Andrew, for the amazing opening remarks. Uh, next, we have our keynote uh, from Michael Foster. Michael will be talking about crossing the Kubernetes network policy chasm. So let's hear it from Michael. I got, hopefully this is working. Hello, hello. Yes, crossing the chasm, building a bridge, whatever analogy you want to use. As you said, I'm Michael Foster. I am the community lead for the StackRox open source project. I'm also a PMM at Red Hat. And I'm looking forward to an exciting week. I'm very happy, actually, I'm speaking first. Right? Get it out of the way. You're very nice. OK, so let's first talk about why the chasm exists. Network policies today are very efficient at managing pod-to-pod -pod communication, network rules for namespaces, setting various IP blocks. There are also additive permissions, right? We default deny everything, and then we add the network policies on top to allow traffic. Now, there is a pretty serious challenge with this process. Because the rules are ad additive, um, the communication between the teams tend to break down. The developers need specific rules for their applications. The security teams don't necessarily know that. Maybe the network security team doesn't even know what Kubernetes is. And they're trying to tell you what ports and protocols you can and can't use. And it isn't until the dev test or even staging environments that the developers find this out. So we want to be able to have a solution that can fix the human problem and say where we can actually leverage the technology that exists today. Because as I say, uh, Kubernetes network policy is more of a communication challenge with a powerful tool. All right. So what I and the MP Guard project propose is a flexible workflow for the DevSec organizations, a process where the security teams can define a system policy for their Kubernetes clusters and teams, different ports and protocols, what's allowed, what isn't, where developers, operators, or automated systems can generate Kubernetes policies and validate them against the security team automatically and asynchronously. And then lastly, we want to deploy and test from Git, making updates in our automated pipelines in a way so if the security team updates it, the developers will know exactly what ports and policies have changed. And so the MP GAR project was designed with this workflow in mind. Let's take a look. So the MP GAR project seeks to, seeks to simplify the experience of creating and maintaining the K8's network policies. And to help meet this challenge, we want to automate the generation without having to run the application code. So we want to integrate into the application's CI CD pipeline, ensuring network policies get, uh, gets updated whenever the required cluster connectivity changes. So as you can see up there, first for the workflow, the automatic synthesis stage, it takes into the application's configuration files, your deployment manifests, your services, things like that. We also want to pair it up with maybe what's the typical traffic that you're seeing. And the security teams can do this all automatically without the developer being involved. Or if the developer wants to generate them first as well, you can generate and check them in. So the first stage is of the flow, also proposes the updated network policy connectivity restrictions in the form of network policy resources. Second, the review and modify stage. So the proposed network connectivity is presented to the DevOps team for their review. This presentation can be graphic, a concise textual report, or simply the actual network policy YAML file. So you think about it, security team goes sets specific ports and policies that they allow. The developer or operations team can just automatically check it against what they already have in their manifests, generate a network policy. We can check that in. We can validate it against it. If we get the green light, then it goes to test. If it doesn't, maybe it breaks the pipeline. There's a lot of flexibility in how you want to bring this into your workflow. So again, users can make changes to the proposed connectivity, and then these changes can be automatically updated. Let's say the security team has decided a certain port is not allowed, and you have a massive organization with a lot of clusters. Well, then we need to make a change and make sure that all of our network policies across are validated. We can do this automatically in a CI CD pipeline. So for that workflow, we want to be able to help simplify and scale it. I know it's like the best buzzword ever. Um, but really, it's about allowing the operations and DevOps team to have the flexibility of how they implement it because we want the security teams to feel safe in the applications that are running. Now, to sum it up, I'll keep it quick because it's early Monday morning and the coffee's kicking in. So if you'd like to see the project in action, I'll be outside at the Red Hat booth. Uh, you can also download the Stack or StackRock's open source platform. It's free to use. It has the developer preview flag in action right now if you want to check it out. Again, like I said, free to use. Um, and you can also take a look at the MP Guard project. It's a project on its own. 
as well. Uh, and then uh, I know we have a couple other people I want to give a shout out to. And Luke Hines is in here. He's doing Six Door Con tomorrow at 9.15. I'll be there checking him out too. Um, and again, I'll be at the Red Hat booth outside if you want to learn more and see it in action. But thank you so much, everyone. Thank you.